other world heritage site that is very rich in intangible heritage is the rice terraces of the Philippine Cordilleras. They could not, their culture dictates that they could not alienate or they could not sell the rice paddies because it's an unwritten law in Ifugao that uh, no family will detach itself from the rice paddies. There are a lot of uh, intangible heritage that dictated how the rice terraces were formed. Like, uh, for example, uh, they had to consult a village elder, which they call Mumbaki, uh, which mountains are suitable for rice farming. The clothing, the manner of cooking rice, the manner of cooking pig, for example, is also dictated by what they could sense from the unseen spirits around them. You can never really quite document how they plant rice, how they value rice, how they value their terraces because uh, the intangible elements from one town to another are different. We have never come up with a comprehensive management plan for the conservation of the rice terraces because there are really a lot of intangible things to consider.